Hi, today we're going to turn a uh, wand out of Purple Heart, but I wanted to say thank you to Alan. He sent me some sycamore and uh, some Bradford pear too, so we'll have to turn that up and see what it looks like. But I wanted to say thank you. He answered a question for me too when I was on vacation down in Arizona. Um, there was a tree at Montezuma's Castle and it had bark on it. And the kids were saying it looked like it was um, camouflaged and it, apparently it's sycamore, the same bark. But uh, big thanks to Alan, I really appreciate it and we'll, we'll turn a project out of it. But let's go ahead and get started. All right, I just cut a piece of purple heart. It's 18 inches long and an inch in diameter. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and true it up here and then we'll put a little bit of detail on it. And I had one, uh, I had somebody leave a comment too that they were, um, had a tool shatter on them when they were turning and they're petrified of the lathe now. Um, keep your tool rest as close as possible um, so your tool can't get in there and, and uh, catch on you. So the closer it is, the safer it's going to be. I mean, you can, it, you can still have it catch, but um, if it's out here and you're, you're turning, it'll snap it up and and throw it. So keep your tool rest as, as close as possible. And I'm just going to go ahead and use the skew. I'm just going to put a little bit of detail on here and this will be the handle and just kind of see what we come up with. And I'm just going to use my uh, detail gouge here. bring that down too much just yet I need to work out here so. down just under that little bead there
All right. When you're um, when you're working some like with something like this where it's real thin, doing spindle turning, it's going to want to vibrate. This isn't bad yet, but it's going to get bad when I get into here and I start bringing this down, um, and it's going to get uh, smaller. So I hold my hand on the back side of it, just like this to support it. Just let my fingers ride, and then that way it doesn't bounce. You can kind of keep pressure on it and keep it from bouncing. What it does when it bounces is, I think you can hear it too, but it just kind of well, it skips along there and it'll create a... I don't see a spot, but if I if I come across one, I'll show you. You can hear it vibrating. All right, there we go, and we'll go ahead and stand it. Turn the lathe speed back down. All right, I'm just finishing up with uh, 600 here, and I'm just using the oil. I haven't got any more paste wax yet, so normally, and then I'll seal it up with uh, paste wax after, or wax afterwards, just so that it, uh, the oil doesn't seep out. And then I'm just going to cut those off by hand so that we don't get any, any tear out. I'll just go ahead and sand that those two little spots up by hand. All right, there we go. And uh, again, Alan, thank you very much for sending me the wood. And uh, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.